Hello there and welcome back to the channel. Today is just a quick video to correspond with the launch of Docker Scout, which actually comes out today. So I've had access to the Scout functionality and with it officially being out of embargo, I can actually share some of this and show you how this actually fits in and how this actually might be useful in your everyday use. So what is Docker Scout? Docker Scout provides functionality that would typically cross over into the realm of security and vulnerability scanning. This offering, however, is directly integrated within Docker Desktop, as well as there being a CLI interface. So if we take a look at the moment, I'm in the Docker Desktop dashboard, and I'm just gonna to head to the images tab that you can actually see there on the left. So currently we don't actually see anything. So I'm quickly gonna pull a container image and intentionally I'm picking up an old image so that we can actually make this interesting. So this image, Wernite slash Funbox, it's a great image. It's got lots of great examples like C Matrix and Ninecat. It's quite old, it's older than five years old. So this naturally will have some vulnerabilities. Okay, so with that downloaded, if we head back to the images pane, and you can see there that I've actually got this. So we're gonna click this image and we'll just let that do its analyzing. And on the right hand side there, you can actually see we've got a list of the vulnerabilities that have actually been found in this image. So we've got one critical, we've got five high, there's some medium, and there's some lows as well. If, for example, we drill into this a little bit further, you can actually see there the CVE. And if we like, we can actually click this, and this will take us to an external website. So as part of this, you can actually see we're on the Docker image vulnerability database. It's got stacks of information here about this particular vulnerability and if you like, you can actually click through. So for example, there's CWEs if they're actually of interest to you. Okay, so going back on this actual pane here, if you like, you can actually click this only fixable packages, which with this image being quite old, naturally, this doesn't change in this viewpoint because everything is actually fixable. So I can toggle this as much as I like, but this technically isn't gonna change. If we click images at the top there, you can actually see that this is actually listed out too. So the first one from Debian 8, that actually relates to layer zero that you can actually see there. And the rest of this is relating to this Wernite Funbox container image. So in summary, we've actually got one critical five high, 22 medium, and five low vulnerabilities. The packages will actually give us a breakdown of all of the packages that are actually available. So you can page through this. And if we click one of these, you can actually see there we've got various bits of information. We've got the location of files, an overview of what this does, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, so how might this be useful to a developer, a security analyst, a maintainer. Well, going back to the vulnerabilities that we actually saw there, we had eight vulnerabilities highlighted that were not fixable. And we know that we're working with an old image here. So how would this actually look if we updated this particular container image to a newer version of the Debian base? So what we're going to do, we're going to just switch back to the terminal and we're going to clone the original project for this Docker fun box. Okay, and if we take a look there, you can actually see we've got the doc file. So let's just edit that. And quite simply, all I'm going to do in this case is remove that tag of Jesse, just so that when we actually build this again, it's going to go out and grab the latest version of the Debian container image. And what I'll do, I'll just do a build of this and I'll tag it with my own name. Okay, we'll let that run, and for the purposes of the video, I'll speed this bit up. Okay, and if we go back to the images pane, and we just reload images again, you can actually see we've got the new container image, and we'll let that one just do its analyzing again, and Again, as I actually mentioned here, we've got new vulnerabilities to actually deal with. But if we actually go back and we click 
the only fixable packages, you can see that this has actually reduced this to fixable packages. So of the actual new list that we've got, only three of those are actually fixable with this being a newer image. So then you can actually look into these and you can actually make an assessment on whether or not these are an impact or not. Okay, so heading back to the command line. As I mentioned at the start, Docker Scout also provides CLI functionality. So let's just take a quick look at this and I'm just gonna use that sub option there. So CVES and let's just run that. So I'll use the Wernite Funbox example again. And if I just scroll back up, it's quite a lot of information. And essentially this is a text breakdown of what we actually saw in the graphical user interface. Alternatively, if we desire, we can use the Docker Scout CLI to generate a JSON report. So if we bring back up the Docker Scout help syntax, and the bit I'm interested in is that command line option there. So I'm just gonna grab that. And again, I'm gonna do the Wernite Funbox container image. And just like that, we've got our report. So now if we take a look at that, we can actually see we've got this JSON report with all of the information we actually saw there in a structured format. So hopefully you found this useful. And if you're interested in taking a look, as I actually mentioned, this has been released today. Head on over to docker.com and download the latest release of Docker Desktop. Thanks so much and I'll see you in the next video.